Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the basics of training and why is it so important to know the basics. I'm going to explain to you with some examples, it might be easier for you to understand. Let's say you want to be a mechanic but you have no idea how an engine looks like or how it runs. So in order to be a good mechanic you have to know the basics of the mechanics. Or if your job is as a hairdresser but you have no idea how to cut someone's hair, it's going to be complicated and that's why Knowing the basics is very important because you can't build something without a base. For me, I think that one of the most important points is knowing which muscles you use when you are pulling and which ones when you are pushing. I remember when I was going to the gym that there was this individual that he was doing bench press and he told me that he was feeling his upper back. But we all know that bench press is going to emphasize your chest, your triceps and your shoulders. Maybe he was doing the exercise wrong, which leads me to the second point, that is training properly. It is very important to know how to perform an exercise to avoid injuries or muscle imbalances. So I'm, I'm using bench press as an example. So when you're doing the bench press, you're gonna have to squeeze your traps together and then push them down so that your shoulders don't move around. And you have to keep this position throughout the exercise. Sorry guys that I don't, don't go to the gym anymore and I had to improvise, but as you can see, I'm retracting my scapula and I'm arching my back and I'm with my arms locked and I'm keeping my uh, scapula retracted throughout the exercise so that, like I said, the shoulders don't move around and this should prevent you from um, injuries and also, as you can see, um, the flaring out your elbows is also a key, as you can see when you do a close grip you have to keep your elbows uh, close to your body and if you do a wide uh, band, uh, wide grip you should um, just flare a little bit your elbows but not too much a lot of people do this exercise wrong and they get injured on the shoulders or the third point they put too much weight it is normal that we want to know what our personal best is the ego it can help us sometimes like psychological matter um, I'm strong I can do this but the ego can also be the thing that makes you plateau. I can say it by self-experience when I was training for the front lever. Uh, I told myself, oh, I'm strong, I can do this. But I was stuck in the same progression uh, for months. And I had to realize that what I was doing was wrong. So a big advice, um, if you have to do a lightweight, just do it. Um, if you want to achieve a skill, do an easier progression. Nobody cares and it will definitely save you some time. The fourth point is the most important one and it's warm up. Many of us have no patience or simply find it boring to warm up, but it is very important for our muscles and tendons to be warmed up before a workout. Let me tell you some benefits of warming up. It will lower the risks of injuries, you will feel stronger when you are training, less muscle pain and less muscle tension and much more, so don't ignore the warm up. There are many ways to warm up, uh, for example uh, warm up sets or stretching. I personally prefer warm up sets because I don't really like to warm up, I admit it, but still I know how important it is for me so I do it. The last point which is also very important is rest. While you are resting your body is going to repair the muscle fibers that have been damaged and in that period you will get stronger and your muscles will grow. But if you are constantly training the same muscle every day, it will lead you to overtraining and that won't help you achieve your goals. Overtraining, as it says, um, you train too much. Uh, what signs do you feel when you overtrain? Well, you get tired very fast and you don't feel very well, so avoid that as much as possible. There is no official amount of rest that you should do, but science recommends 24 to 48 hours of rest should avoid you from overtraining. But you also have to see, if you are still sore, uh, you won't train that muscle again. You let the soreness go away. And these are the five uh, basic points of training that you should know. Obviously, they are more like diet, but uh, for me, these are the, uh, the, f the most important ones to follow in order to progress, to getting stronger and avoiding to plateau. So if you like the video, uh, make sure to like it, uh, subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new coming videos. And I wish you all a very nice day. Thank you. See ya.